guys, I'm Yabrar and building a gaming PC sounds really hard. Kon kon components pick korbo to decide kora can quickly become very overwhelming. Especially if you don't know what you're doing, but you still want to get the most bang for your buck. So I'm going to make it easy for you. In this video, te, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about building a kick-ass gaming PC. I'm going to share with you, I'm going to show you how to make a budget for the key components of this awesome gaming PC. So let's check it out. So first, let's talk about our graphics card. Our entry-level gaming PC is the most important component of this entry-level this is where we wanted to spend the largest portion of our budget. So in our build, we have a focus on components that offer the most performance for the price. So a requirement that the entry-level graphics cards meet is NVIDIA 1650 Super or 1660 Super. Super liner graphics card gula 6 GB of super high-speed GDDR6 VRAM. And this offers significantly better in-game performance. Among the two of these, Amar Pick Course 1660 Super, Kaoneta for around 5 to 6,000 more, more than 20% extra performance than in games. So graphics card pick karashoma, you'll find the same card they offer for the on a gula different brands. We went with Zotac, Kaoneta Damaro Com. On number brands like MSI Asus or Gigabyte, maybe chart take a pass at taka beshi dame. Aro robust cooler design ba lighting effects there. Kintu performance it dig the Zotac is basically the same. Amra even Zotac er card ta overclock kore aro beshi performance by the parsi. So this is a great fit for our build. Throughout our build, you might notice that we didn't focus on RGB. A entry level PC the jodi amra tastefully RGB implement kore the chaitam. Ta hole amader build ta aro onik expensive hoy jayto. And personally, amra kase mona hoy je Cheap RGB to the thake tarche ita na thake bhalo. Tar mane ei na je amra aesthetics er upore ekdumi focus kori nai ei build e. Amra ekta toned down, sleek look dite jaisi with the case that we picked. And tai I think je amra RGB the extra thaka khoroch na kore ekta PC paise that still looks pretty amazing. Ekhon amra processor e ashi. Ei build er jonno jokhon processor pick korsi amra, tokhon amader only requirement chilo je it lets our GPU perform at its maximum performance. We don't need it to have an integrated GPU. We have a dedicated graphics card, so we won't be using it. Or we don't need more than four cores. What matters more is clock speed. So we went with a Ryzen 3 3100 from AMD. It has uh, four cores, eight threads, and runs at 3.6 GHz, yet amra overclock kore 4 GHz in itabarsi. However, I should point out that if you want to do tasks like video editing, software development, or about 3D modeling, then having extra cores will help your performance in those tasks. Kintu, the Ryzen 3 3100 we picked at this price range is absolutely the best processor you can buy for gaming. AMD processors love high-speed memory. Tai jodi amader processor ta maximum performance se cholte chai, we need to get high-speed RAM. Modern games require more than 8 gigabytes of memory. And even if RGB the choleo, if you want to have some browser tabs open, Discord or chat, or if you want to listen to Spotify while you game, the hell you're gonna need more than 8 GB. That's why we went with two sticks of 8 gigabyte, 3200 megahertz RAM, that is DDR4. Tamane amade total hoche 16 GB. Amra obashoi dui stick ni bo johan amra RAM ni. Because RAM runs in dual channel. Tarmane, if you have all of your RAM in only one stick, you're effectively cutting your memory bandwidth in half. That's like Judy Keo keyboard chan or Shomai, he uses only one hand instead of two hands. That's very inefficient and obviously it doesn't make any sense. Let's move on to our motherboard. Amadere budget gaming PC the motherboarder card should act. Jano, it lets all the other components work properly. Amra their cone motherboard lag be, it depends on Amra cone processor use kori. So with our Ryzen 3 3100, we can use motherboards that have a B450 chipset. We could have used a more expensive chipset motherboard, kintu it will come with features that we don't really need for our entry level processor. We could have also gone with an older A320 chipset motherboard that would have been a little bit less expensive. Kintu tokho namra, amadher processor ta ke overclock kutte paak tamna. Among B450 motherboards, 
we went with the cheapest one we could find. That's an MSI V450 MA Pro Max. We don't get features like extra RAM slots, RGB, or gaming branding. Kintu, we get to save Chaktike Taga here. So that's really worth it. As you can see, our build time optimize Korenisi. We only pay for features that improve our performance in gaming. And this really shows in the benchmarks later on in the video. But we have built a shashkuri. For storage, we went with the 240GB SSD uh, that's going to be our boot drive. Tarmane has Windows installed. SSDs are much faster than hard drives. Tarmane has our PC on a on hobe. Our amra JJ programs and games our SSD te install kuri, they will all load super fast. But this higher performance comes at a higher price. Thai, so that we don't run out of storage really quickly, we also added a 1TB hard drive to store all our big files. If you already have an old hard drive, tahole, I really recommend that you invest in a bigger capacity SSD. Because the games that you install there it are gonna load so fast, like it's, it's gonna take literally seconds, and then you're gonna get spoiled. You're never gonna wanna go back to using a hard drive again. Amraji Atagula component pick column, all of these are gonna need power. Our Kothok Hani power lagbe depends on Kiki components use courtesy. 450 watts is enough for our build. So that's what we went with. If you wanna find out, Apner build a Kothok Hani borrow power supply lagbe. You can check the recommended power supply watts for your GPU. So that's about it. Our built to shesh. All we have to do now is find something nice to put all of it inside. Case choose kora shomai. We wanted something that looks really good, but also comes in at a low enough price to complement our entry level system. We ended up picking the Corsair Carbide 175R. It are tempered glass side panel ta tinted. Our bitterer component gula slightly visible, which to me looks really classy. Our front panel tie act uh, interesting brushed metallic finish dawa that also looks and feels really good. Air magnetic dust filters gula easily kule purishka rahaje, and it comes included with an RGB fan jeta glow korle shamner Corsair logo ta illuminated hoy. Bhitore, there is enough room for additional hard drives and SSDs. Power supply shroud, our motherboard tray or pitch on it, there is enough space to hide all your cables and keep your build looking super clean. Case star front intake fan shathe, we added an exhaust fan at the back so that we have enough airflow to cool our components. One thing to note here is that since some other motherboard is no RGB header, nahi, Amader shamner light ta normally jala na. Kintu amra ekta simple mod kore nisi, jeter karon amra light ta still jala the parsi using power directly from the power supply. So that's the build, guys. Now it's time to put it to the test and play some games. For this PC, we will be running all our games at 1080p using high graphics settings. I'm a very high but ultra thick games chalachina because the graphics quality difference is less noticeable. But in the frames per second impact is less noticeable. Since we're pairing this PC with a 144Hz gaming monitor, I'm a games gula high FPS. Walking around the crowded streets of Novigrad in The Witcher 3, we're looking at 80 to 90 FPS. In less crowded areas, we're getting around 100 FPS. I should point out, screen recording is a lot of game FPS. Normally, I have to power power. Even under demanding conditions with lots of on screen elements and effects, which are 3 to 80 niche FPS. In Apex Legends, we can see in firefights, we're getting around 90 FPS. Overall, our other FPS 80 to 120 in Our other graphics settings high theraxi and everything looks really good. But if you're serious about competitive shooters, you can turn settings down to medium or low and get much higher frame rates. Oh man, Doom Eternal. By the Atho Joe's Bobby optimized. Our graphics ultra the theraxi and FPS 100 and niche na 
we're getting 100 to 150 fps just super buttery smooth gameplay i gotta say doom eternal is hands down one of the best first person shooters of our generation valorant is not a very demanding game we were running it at the highest graphic settings and still maxing out our monitor always running at over 150 fps as good an experience as you could ever hope for quite literally jumping into fortnite we're running it at high settings and depending on what's happening on screen we're getting anywhere between 70 to 100 fps maybe turning the graphics down would result in locked high frame rates fortnite ami kelina Never really cared for it, but I'm surprised to say I actually had fun recording this gameplay. Built till Kurinei, just running around and shooting was pretty fun. Oh, and I got Victory Royale, <laughs> yay. So that's the end of this video. What do you think of this 65k gaming PC? Would you have done anything differently? Um, this was my first PC build video and it was a lot of fun to make. Ami chai aro PC builds banate at different price points. So if you like this video, then let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. A video te kichu jinish chilo je rokom amra kibhabe overclock korsi, motherboard er RGB header chhara kibhabe light ta jalailam, ki ki peripherals use korlam a PC er sathe. So if you want to know more about this stuff, tahole maybe I could cover that too. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time.